Grid or Grid 2019 is the 10th entry in the beloved Toka Racing series by Codemasters, and it's the fourth installment in the Grid series altogether. Now, Toka deserves a whole video of its own, but that's a topic for another day. The game is a legend. Grid 2019 served as a soft reboot and comeback for the series, the Blast Grid title released in 2014 titled Grid Autosport. Grid 2019 released with positive reviews and even winning Best Racing Game by Gamescom. But for a lot of people, this racing game flew under the radar, and a lot of people didn't even know that there was another Grid game that had even released that year. I was one of those people. I think I remember hearing about it once and then never again. I recently downloaded it on Game Pass just to give it a try, and I absolutely loved it. But it has one major problem. Literally no one plays it. So I set out to figure out why. Plus with another grid game titled Grid Legends released in February of 2022, there's no better time than to try and revive this game and build some hype for the next title. Let's get into it. But before I do, full disclosure, I am no way a grid expert. I haven't put a thousand hours into this game. This is entirely my opinion of the game. If you disagree with my views or opinion, then please send me $20. Thanks. Now let's get into it. Firstly, let's talk about the game itself, some of its features and what I liked about it. Grid has always kind of served as a happy medium between arcade racer and sim racer. It's arcade enough for you to be able to hop in and have fun, but you still need to use your brakes and hit those apexes. The single player campaign is fine, I guess. There's nothing really to write home about the single player. Uh, there's a list of disciplines that you complete in order in a line, and that's just about it. The game does have a little bit of customization with a mild livery editor, but it's nowhere near on the level as, say, Forza's livery editor. But I also kind of feel like this game doesn't really need a lot of customization. And here's why I say that. I tend to break up racing games into two categories. Car racing games and racing racing games. I know, I know. Just hang with me for a moment and I'll explain. We can use Forza as an example of a car racing game. It has a lot of customization, a lot of freedom, a fully functional livery editor, and a strong and dedicated community that has many different sides. You have drifters, grip bracers, tuners, painters, etc. But the weakest point of the Forza titles, in my opinion, is the racing itself. There's usually no real challenge. There's no real pit stops, no racing strategy. I don't really have to worry about tire wear and feel a whole lot. And the game literally rewards you for everything. Watch, Forza Horizon 5 literally rewards you for driving in a straight line. Whereas on the other hand, games like Assetto Corsa, Gran Turismo, and Project Cars are racing, racing games. The racing and handling models feel a lot better. You do have to worry about things like fuel, tire wear, pitch strategies, fuel mixtures, and qualifying. These specialize in the racing itself of racing games not building liveries and smashing cacti. Although that is oddly satisfying. And with that being said, Grid falls almost directly in the middle of these two, but very slightly leaning towards a racing, racing game. Because Grid has some really cool underappreciated features. For example, if you hit a wall near spectators, they'll actually flinch and try to move away from the wall. Also, sometimes the commentators over the speakers will actually announce what you're currently doing in the race. 
Another cool feature is that whenever you change gears or hit the brakes or the gas pedal, your driver actually moves his legs and presses the respective pedal. It is so cool to see small details like this in a racing game. And of course, you can't forget the damage model that all Code Masters games are known for. Take a look at some of this. Okay, don't be surprised if they're gunning for you now. Oh, they won't be happy with that. I think you hit them one too many times. I think you may have upset them. I think you have to be careful now. You might have pushed them too far. Also, the car selection in this game is pretty good. Albeit Grid doesn't have as many cars as most of its competitors, but this is a good thing sometimes, because in return, the devs can spend more time perfecting each car. Quality over quantity. My favorite cars are the Australian V8 supercars. But each car in the game feels very purposeful and unique from each other. There is no turning a smart car into a track car and beating LaFerraris. Each car seems to have its own pros and cons and unique handling model. It's about finding the car that feels right to you. Oh, and the sound. How can I forget the sounds? This game literally sounds like you're watching the race on TV. Cockpit view is absolutely phenomenal. If you have headphones on right now, turn them up and take a listen. They've done an incredible job with the engine sounds as well. There are no recycled vacuum cleaner sounds here. Each car in game sounds very faithful to their real world counterpart. Take a listen to the VQ motor on this 350Z. Yes, the sweet sound of a VQ before it's been completely violated and turned into a trumpet. This game, of course, has a lot more features and details than I can mention. These are just some of the more noticeable ones that stood out to me. Now let's get on to why no one plays or really ever played this game in the first place. On Steam's charts, the all-time peak of players was only about 1,028 concurrent players. That's less than any of the other great games that were released in the past. And this number was when the game was first released. By the next month, this had fallen by nearly 80% to about 200 concurrent players. It did have a few more peaks kind of around the time that each new season DLC was released, but just comparing it to Forza Horizon 4, which came out nearly a year earlier, it never dropped below 10,000 concurrent players. And I mean, look at this graph when you compare the two. You literally can't even see grid stats compared to Forza's. But of course, this is kind of like comparing apples to oranges. 
but Grid could still take some notes from the Forza franchise if they plan to do better. For one, I'm sure you can tell just by looking at the gameplay footage that the graphics in this game are okay. They're fine, meh. They aren't bad, but I think for the next Grid title, they definitely need to add more polish and take advantage of the current gen system's power. Also, I think the driving model needs a little tweaking. The cars can feel a little back heavy and drifty when racing sometimes. This is especially noticeable in third person. However, racing in one of the first person camera views mostly eliminates this feeling. Also, for the love of God, please add crossplay. This is absolutely mandatory for any game in the modern era. This would stop the dwindling player base from being split up and it'll make it so much easier to find and join lobbies. Because whenever you do manage to find a lobby with other players, the racing is really fun. Grid has some really good players and I've still yet to be obliterated on the first turn like in most racing games. I also think it could really benefit from some form of a live service model. This is so commonplace now in video games, it almost feels weird when a game doesn't have something like this. They don't even have to go full Halo Infinite free to play live service. There's maybe some unique weekly races or challenges just to get players to hop on every week and try something new. And this is part of the problem as well. Just the overall lack of content as a whole for this game. After playing a few single player races, it gets kind of boring. There isn't any direction or anything to look forward to really. Plus the community and the die hard grid fans seem to absolutely hate this game. It seems to be a pretty big consensus that they did not listen to their fans or supporters for this release. I would love to see more customization as well you know, give the player something to show off or be proud of. But overall, I'm really enjoying Grid. It's fun to take a break from all of my normal games and play something different. Well, hopefully I've at least convinced you to think about giving the game a shot and trying it out. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you played Grid before? Tell me what you liked or disliked about it. Thanks for watching my video. Until next time.